My body, my body, my body is ready. I didn't need to use that. I needed to use that with Ashley. In fact, here, Ashley, take this green herb. Actually, speaking of Jerry, I um I saw this um picture that someone painstakingly made of an overly realistic character select screen involving all the characters who are currently announced for Smash Bros. And then, right subtly at the top of the character select, is Reggie. Reggie? Reggie's gonna be yeah. in Smash Brothers? Reggie's gonna be in Smash Brothers. Aw, oh, yeah. Okay, well, this... Did you, did you hear about him going on, like, Twitter and put in, giving a link to, like, an online petition where he's just like, If this gets 10 million votes, I will be in Smash Bros. That's kind of messed up. I mean, All he's, right. he's just doing it for fun because he knows that there's no way it'll get to 10 million. Question is, can I protect Ashley? No, shoot her in the back. Ashley, you've been useless the whole entire game. Just Ashley, not. Ashley, what you're doing now is what I could be doing now instead of you. Ashley, just, just go away. What is she doing right She's, now? She's, uh, I had her operating the, uh, the crane. Or the wrecking ball. The wrecking ball. Why did I call it wrecking ball? Oh, so it's my <laughs> bunny must die. Ow, oh, hatchet man. Why do you have to be a jerk sometimes? Why can't we just be friends and go frolic in the meadows? Uh, through a field of flowers. I think the second With he picked arms. up a hatchet. I'm pretty sure the second he picked up a hatchet that wasn't gonna happen. Yeah, he he declared war on Leon. Catch it, man! Catch. You can't also name this War on Leon anymore. You've already... You've already done a title like that. We're fucked. Uh, you mean Attack on Leon? Yeah. That was a reference to Attack on Titan. Oh my god, it was! And then I didn't catch the reference! I'm really bad at lying. I was hope. Well, I mean, if anyone was gonna capture it, I mean, I figured you would, because you're like... You're pretty much- oh my god, you're still alive. I, is that what you were gonna say? Is that what about me that surprises you? No, no, I mean, like, if anyone was gonna know anything about anime, I, I figure it'd be you. You're pretty yeah. much into anime like I am. Makes sense. Mm. Did I miss anything? There's two guys behind me. Nope, I think we're good. Oh, now there's like five guys. I love that restaurant! Five guys? Five guys! They're everywhere! There's like three over here. Oh, weird fun fact, because the guy- you know the soda machine with the touch screen interface? Yeah, With like yeah. the four kajillion sodas in it? Yeah. I got to see the guy who invented that give a speech at my school. Oh yeah? Yeah. He wasn't talking about it, he was talking about this other thing he invented that takes water and both uses steam for reusable energy and also filters the steam into a secondary bucket into clean drinking water for third world nations. That's actually pretty cool. Essentially this guy is exactly what we need to do what we need to do in the future to live forever. Now the next question I have is how are we going to, what are we going to use once toilet paper is that all gone? Ha! <laughs> we will never run out of toilet paper. Never. I don't know why- I just hope that the next replacement for toilet paper is just electricity. <laughs> I have no idea why or how that would work. Just make it happen. Electric wipes. No, no, I just straight up- You know those- you know those like toilets that squirt everything off of your booty? Oh yeah. I now want- I now want things electrocuted off of my booty. Wait. It'll be great. Man, that is just not really all that scary through a thermal scope, is it? He's just, uh... He's just exploding everywhere. Follow me. That's just not scary through a well, thermal scope. Well, not to you. To you it's scary through a thermal scope? Nah. Uh, nah. Nah, it's not really that scary through a thermal scope, but... Just in, through a thermal scope, he just seems further away. I mean, the only thing that I see that's creepy is you see how it's all wiggling and stuff like that? Yeah. That's a little eerie to me. Is that... well, you're a bitch? 
I, I don't know. Squirming kind of squirming kind of creeps me out a little bit. I want to I want to play a horror game so badly where every time you kill a monster and get out of a scary situation, it just plays awesome you won music. <laughs> you solved the puzzle. Perfect. You got out of that scary situation without peeing yourself. Move on to the next area where you have to fight another scary monster thing. There's there are so many things in video games that need to get done, and I will, I will make a couple of them if I can. All right, I, I would love to play those types of games. Honestly, I want to, I want to play a scary game, I, not like Slender, not something that's more psychological. Oh, psycho psychology scary? Yeah. Hmm. Well. It I have a game idea for a game, but it's not scary so much as it is a game I really want to make really badly. All right, here, Ashley. Wait, no, I can still use that. Never mind. You don't no, no, get no. it, Ashley. Shut the fuck up, Ashley. Merchant man! I will throw you into more garbage chutes. <laughs> you will get pierced. You'll get your arm pierced so many I, times. I, I am just gonna throw you at a spiker, dude, and you are fucked. <laughs> throw her at an iron mate. I'm trying to think. When was the last time anyone did good psychological horror? I've seen, I've seen environmental horror, ambiance horror, um, but I haven't seen psychological in a while. It's very difficult to do. Yeah, because it's, it's kind of, if you want to do it perfectly, you either have to come up with a way of of, bro of shrinking the audience, your broad audience's views on horror towards the character they're, part, they're a part of, or you have to find a broad way of investing your audience into horrors that you can then include into your game. Both of those are not easy. Silent Hill Homecoming, no, not Homecoming. What was the week? Silent Hill bullshit. Oh, uh, I know what you're talking about. Now I can't remember. Uh, the Wii one, we'll just say. The thir um, one of the terrible third-party ones. The one that was all, that had a lot of frigid areas for whatever the reason. had that fucking parrot puzzle! <laughs> the viewers will never understand that. No, I just remembered that. Uh, I, uh, I, uh, I can't uh, remember poop? the last one. Uh, you were there for that. I was. I'm, I want to talk to two. I want to talk to Pookie. Who the hell is Pookie? Who the fuck is Pookie? <laughs> no, Tookie. What yeah, shut the fuck up. Do you think we should explain that a little bit? Okay, so Alpha was playing. Oh, Shattered Memories. Yeah, well, I actually didn't fix anything. Alpha okay. was playing Shattered Memories, and he was going around, and he got to this one puzzle where there was this um. He had to listen to a tape, and there was no, like, subtitles to it. Or at least, I think that was it. There was no subtitles, so... Like, it was, uh, of, it was of Cheryl, and she was saying, I wanna talk- like, I wanna see Tukey, or, like, I wanna talk to P Tukey, or something like that. And Tukey's a toucan, right? Yeah. And, and so, like, every time he was listening to it, all he could hear was, I wanna talk to Pookie, and... It, Alphim's just getting pissed off because it's like, who the hell is Pookie? The worst, the worst part was this was for a puzzle. Like the the clue to a puzzle What's was coming out of my Wiimote. Like it was um yeah that's it. That's I had why to I had to I had to learn what I had to look for in the mall, the monster infested mall that I didn't want to go out in because it took time and monsters. And I had to go back out there, and it's just like, all right, now memorize the color of the toucan's beak. Yeah. Just, and it... what the fuck. And you know, because the the light blue mist gradient that goes on on your screen all the time doesn't ruin that in any way. 